Hey viewer! Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 95 and MS-DOS 6.22 uh, on the VirtualBox and uh, I will also show you how to uh, install uh, and play Bugs Life for uh, Windows 95 so uh, the links of everything you need will be in the description but um, so first thing you want to download if you don't already have it is WinRAR if you have a 64-bit system then you download this one if you have a 32-bit then download the x86 version um, after that you will want to download the uh, Windows if you have Windows like me then you download the Windows version of VirtualBox uh, if you have a different OS then you can add this Linux OS X Solaris um, but yeah like for me I'll download the Windows host version it will automatically start to download you can see here I'm just gonna cancel because I already have it after that you uh, would want to, to uh, ins well install the VirtualBox and then uh, once you have it installed you go in and uh, don't mind these two this is already my setup so you would go uh, new um, and then you would type it in uh, M, uh, name you would type Windows 95 and then uh, next you would uh, click next here as well uh, you would go create I'm just uh, yeah and then uh, for this you should uh, use VDI click next dynamically allocated click next and then create for me I'm not gonna create uh, well okay I will uh, create it why not because uh, yeah I have to create it to show you anyways yeah um, so once you have it created uh, go back and uh, download the MS-DOS 6.22 uh, and you will see you, it, it's gonna be a RAR file and uh, you will have um, pretty much like this these files cd-rom.image disk1 setup disk2 disk3 so uh, you want to click settings and then you want to go down to storage okay so what you want to do here is you, you click on this little icon here and then choose a disk file and you want to find your your disk1 setup so you click that you click ok and then you start your system and here it's gonna say starting MS-DOS you just click enter you uh, click enter again you click enter again I'm just gonna format your drive your virtual drive You, the, these settings don't matter so you have to really go uh, really set it up you, you can just go the settings are correct you can just click enter again and then once you get to this far you can it's gonna ask you to set up disk 2 so what you want uh, what you want to do here is right click on this floppy and you go choose disk file again you choose disk 2 and uh, you can click enter again so it's gonna continue the, the installation and you wanna do the same thing with disk 3 so just click that, choose disk file and then disk 3 like that that's all you wanna uh, have and then it's gonna say remove all disk from floppy disk drives and then you wanna click right here, click on the floppy and go remove disk from virtual drive you click enter again and now it's installed on your computer after this is completed, uh, you wanna go uh, choose. Uh, you wanna click on this. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah. So uh, after this is done, is installed in your computer. You wanna click enter, and now you want to to uh, to add uh, to click on the floppy again. Right click it and go choose disk file again and go cd-rom.image. And now you want to, to uh, type in uh, setup.bbat, uh, but you uh, want to change to a, and then setup.bat, and then you're gonna install the the, the CD driver. 
the setup complete as you can see here so now you you can reset your machine you can take this out and you can see here there is a driver now with a cd-rom device driver so now that you've done this uh, now i have to get windows 95 you get a windows 95.iso file so what you want to do is uh, be sure that uh, you removed everything from the floppy disk and you see this icon here you want to right click it and you want to do choose a disk file and then you want to find your uh, windows 95.iso uh, file for me uh, i already have it here selected so i'm gonna choose it and then um, and then you just uh, when, once you click uh, on this windows 95.iso uh, like last time, you'll see this tick down and uh, you want to reset the machine. Okay, now you just wait, and there we go. So now, uh, since you, you want to uh, type in D uh, and then uh, this one, uh, the double the double dots, enter, and then uh, you want to type in setup and then enter. This is gonna uh, the start the Windows 95 setup. So once you're here, you wanna click continue on this one. Uh, you wanna click yes. Now you wanna click next. You wanna click next again. Uh, you wanna go typical. Uh, you want the product identification number, uh, which we have here. I'll leave it in the description as well. So you can uh, just type that in. So, there we go. And now you typed in that in and... Uh, you want to name uh, your computer whatever you want, uh, however you like to. I'm just gonna name it Cola Cola Video. And uh, you can install a network adapter, you can install the sound, but uh, I would recommend not not using it because uh, at least if you're gonna b run Bugs Life, uh, you don't uh, need the sound. Um, and the sound is also uh, I found works uh, shit on Windows 95 anyway, so you don't really need it. So you would just click next here, and now it's gonna analyze analyze your computer pretty much. You can just wait here. Okay, now that's that's installed. Uh, for this get connected uh, you don't uh, need to click anything you just click next here and then uh, it's gonna say what components you want to install it you just uh, leave it as it is and then you click next again and uh, for this you don't want to you want to tick on uh, no I do not want to start this um, and then click next again now next again and now it's gonna install it okay now that it's installed you just click finish and uh, you wanna just click OK, you don't uh, mind this error here. OK, now you're gonna see um, uh, it's gonna say getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. And you're gonna find this error, Windows protection error, you need to reset your computer. For this, you want this, uh, I'll leave this link in the description, it's it's a direct link so you don't, uh, you just click on it and it's gonna download. You just uh, pay, uh, click on that link and it's gonna download you uh, this fixed 95 CPU so you'll see these files you want uh, the these files uh, you just uh, extract them into any folder and uh, what you do you want to remove this from the from the, from virtual drive this disk for Windows 95 and you want to go in right click it choose a disk file and you want to go in and choose the fixed 95 CPU.iso Okay, so now you want to go click machine and reset. Alright, so now it's gonna... This is gonna pop up. Now you just press, uh, press any key to continue. And you click uh, N. And that's it. So, 
uh, and uh, now you click any key again and it's gonna install this fix and now uh, what you wanna do is remove this from the disk and then just reset your PC and now you should have 95 Windows 95 working and you wanna click normal mode and it's gonna set up here and uh, it says you must provide computer and workgroup names that will identify this computer on the network you, you wanna click ok of course and computer name it really doesn't matter you just wanna uh, just put whatever you want there yeah uh, and then it's gonna ask you for the CD-ROM uh, so you just put go here and you choose this Windows 95 that I saw again and then you click OK and now it's gonna inst uh, install some files here it's gonna uh, ask you you have a file that's uh, better so you just keep ye uh, click yes yes okay now uh, it's gonna ask you for the time zone you just uh, click close it doesn't really matter Okay, so th this is gonna ask you for the printer, you just click ne cancel on that. And then it's gonna say, he setup has finished configuring your system, you must reset your computer before the new settings take effect. You click OK, it's gonna reset your, your Windows for you. And now you have the Windows 95 pretty much installed entirely on your PC. So, you just wait for it to boot, and there we go. Here you can just type in call, uh, whatever uh, name you said earlier and uh, just click OK and then OK again and there we go it's gonna save Windows 95 in install uh, yeah blah, blah blah and there we go welcome to Windows 95 so uh, before we can get run running uh, before we can run Bugs Life on this PC uh, you will see that uh, if you go to properties right click properties and settings you'll see the, that the Windows is 16 colored so for Bugs Life we need uh, 20, 256 colors for, to, for the game to run. So what you want to do, you, uh, if you're stuck here like this window, you want to click right control key to get access to your, your keyboard and mouse. And you want to right click this and you want to remove this from virtual drive. And then you uh, will see that uh, uh, we, you want to add a disk file to your floppy. So you want to right click the floppy and choose the disk file again. And uh, for this one, uh, well, okay, so for this one, I will have uh, the driver 256 color uh, VFD uh, in the description as well. So you want to download that and run it. Just double click it. And once you did that, you so you want to go properties, <laughs> settings, change this play type. You want to go change and you want to go have this and you want to go uh, browse and you want to find the VBE 9x you want to click on that you want to go into um, uni and you want to click OK and then OK again and then it's gonna say here uh, this one and you want to click the first one the first setting there is this one um, click OK and then clo uh, close yeah and then you can just ignore it there, this here, and you can go properties, same things, you can choose here the colors now already, so you can go there, you can go to apply, and it's going to reset your PC. Okay, okay, there we go, properties or settings, so you can see it's now 256 colors, and the resolution is the same so you can go okay so now you see uh, you say gonna you're gonna say like well this resolution is very small don't worry it doesn't matter what uh, so what uh, wanna do now so you wanna click right control you wanna download the bugs life dot iso that I gave you in the description and uh, once you have it you wanna right click right right control you wanna right click this remove this from virtual drive first also I, I want to okay so also I want to mention that uh, the, it might ask you for the monitor type once you uh, choose 256 colors so you want to choose this laptop display panel here that I've chosen here so anyways get, uh, now you want to right click the, the ID and 
choose a disk file and you want to choose bugs life wherever you put it for me it's in my folder and then games and bugs life so now bugs life is gonna prepare to set up now it's gonna ask you to you're gonna click next there and yes here it's gonna check the hardware you click next you click yes click yes and then you click yes again and then pretty much what you want you just have to wait a bit here it's gonna take a while so I'll just fast forward Now it's gonna say searching for AppDirex and it's gonna download and it's gonna say there's no imp sound input of out the device if you haven't installed it earlier in the video. So you just click OK for me and you wanna reset your finish. You click finish, it's gonna reset your PC. So now the game is pretty much installed, we just have to wait to p for the PC to load up. Now that uh, it's loaded up, you wanna click OK again normally and you wait a bit and there we go and click close now bugs life is installed okay so now that you install bugs life you wanna uh, close this down as well and you wanna click my computer you wanna click uh, your uh, ms dos c drive you wanna go program files you wanna go disney interactive and bugs life and you just wanna uh, make a shortcut so it's easier for you and drag it into desktop you can now close everything here and you, you'll have this game now so uh, now you can actually run this game you just double click it and it's gonna start up so now you wanna click enter and you're in so once you'll see now okay so the game's so small what do I do so First, go into options and uh, change controls. You can see here you can uh, set up your controls. So, uh, for me, you just press enter and uh, you choose whatever key you want to bind the control to. And uh, when you see that, you just scroll down with uh, the arrow key, to, uh, the down arrow key. To accept, you just click enter. And now you're wondering, the resolution is so small, how do I make it bigger? Well. I'm glad you asked. You just click on the view here on this and you go scale mode. And you're, you're gonna ask you about this. You can just go uh, switch. And uh, once you, if you wanna go switch back, you just click right control and plus C, as you can see here. You can read it. But uh, for now, you just click switch and uh, it's gonna change your resolution. And once it changes your resolution, you can adjust this however you want, like that. You can make it smaller, bigger, however you want, whatever size you want. You can even maximize it. You can go across your whole window. The and that's pretty much it. So that's how you play this game. So yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.